Hi there, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series by Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. The next question is, why do we need partitioning in a software system? So uh, we see that uh, many a times uh, architects, they refer that, oh, we can partition our system or we can partition this database. So why do we actually need the partition in, in a system? And understand the concept of partition. All right, so partitioning is a like database process. I mean, if we see from the database perspective, where we have a large table, and that table can be divided into multiple smaller parts. It's a simple part, like I mean, like you know, that partitioning means creating more parts. Now, how do you create those parts? Like, I mean, whether you create a like vertical partitioning, horizontal partitioning, what kind of ways you create, that is there. So first dig into the reasons like why do we need it? So sometimes we have a database query which requires access to a smaller portion of the table. Like let's say you have I mean, a Facebook-like system where you have uh, data from customers from all over the world. Now in such a case, the query is only accessing I mean, customers of a, or users from one specific city. So if you are selecting star from a table where city is called Singapore, which is a smaller city, and uh, you want to access only those users, in such a case, if we have to scan through the whole table, it will be much slower. So what we can do is that we can create uh, partitions specific to the cities. So that way, I mean, uh, if we have created such smaller uh, portions in advance, it will be easier to run those queries and much faster also. So let's understand uh, by another example that if we partition a table like employee data, by the age of employees then we have to just query certain age employees then we need to access specific partitions of that age so that way we don't need to access the data of all the employees we can just go to specific partition which belongs to that age and get the information from there and this will make our query much faster and less resources or intensive on the database so one of the big benefit of partitioning is that it reduces the maintenance like because if you have a much larger table and you have to copy from one place to another place I mean it takes a lot of effort now if you're quite copying you have to bring your system down like whereas if you have partitioned the table so you can just uh, transfer like specific partition from one place to another place while other partitions are still functional so that way the maintenance on the table like copying taking backups all these things are much easier when we have partitioning another benefit of partitioning is the database administration so in dba they have to take backups or re-indexing of a table so these kind of tasks they get simplified if you use the partition so re-indexing of a big table takes much longer time but if you partition it, then many partitions are not impacted while other partitions are getting re-indexed. Another like big benefit of partitioning is response time. If your queries become much, much fast if you are accessing specific partition. So let's say, I mean, you are working in US and you have different time zones and if you partition based on the time zones, it can uh, like you know make your query much faster because now you have like multiple partitions and each partition is a smaller subset and the query needs to access only that smaller set of data it will be a very quick response for your customers another example of partitioning is memory saving so i mean even in the database the memory is limited so when we have partitioning then the amount of data that has to be loaded into memory for executing a query, it reduces because you know that from the beginning itself that, oh, this refers to a specific partition, only that partition's data needs to be loaded. So this will reduce the memory overhead of a query and you don't need to pay for a such a, like, you know, memory intensive system uh, for running those queries. It can be done in a lower, like, configuration machines also. And then high availability, this is also a good benefit of partitioning that let's say we are creating multiple partitions and in such a case, we create replicas of each of these partitions. Now, overall, 
the availability of the system will be much higher compared to like single partition system uh, because if one node goes down it may not be able to serve all others whereas in a multiple partition way like if you have 100 partitions if one partition goes down the other 99 are still up so the availability overall availability of your system is still very high so that way like high availability is also one good like, good benefit that we get out of partitioning and just to give you a brief there are two ways of partitioning one is like vertical partitioning or other is horizontal partitioning we'll have a, like another lecture on this also so in vertical partitioning if you see uh, we have columns like in this table id name avatar so we divided like id name and id avatar the column level we have partitioned this table so each column is in a different partition and horizontal partitioning it's more like a division from the rows so we have uh, like sean tau ray jesse and robin so we divided first three ids in one partition other two in a different partition so this is horizontal partitioning so that way like you know we can time from time to time we can use which partitioning to go for so we'll explain like why to go for horizontal partitioning or vertical partition All right, that's all on the benefits of partitioning and why do we use partitioning. Hope you liked it. And uh, if you like it, uh, do subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you please post it in the comments. We'll be happy to answer for you. Thank you.